Guys, 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 welcome to a new video then. New video. This is continue where the last one from this project, this trophy wall thing, ended. So, here we go. In the last one, I was using a lot of time finding out which type of window I'm gonna have here. That's settled now, so now we're gonna start to make the supports. We're gonna be across here, the, the back wall. No, that's wrong. I cannot weld those on before I have the plates are gonna be here. That has not arrived yet. But I can cut them, have them ready, and I'm gonna start to measure up. I'll have to bend this place between her. Yeah, this I can do, this I have to do first. Drawings are ready for the perforator plates. Now I'm gonna close this wall a little bit up because this is gonna be behind the perforator plate. So this has to be black so you don't see what's behind the plate. I just took some old materials I had materials I had here now, some old plates. So it's not wide enough, so I had to put two pieces, but it doesn't matter because this is gonna be behind the other plate. The most important here is that it's just gonna be completely dark behind here. Now then next up, I'm gonna weld a piece over here, we're gonna be the corner there. And I'm gonna have support up to there. And we are going out to the container to find the door I'm gonna have here because the door is gonna be here. I have I have a lot of doors here, but it's this one we're gonna use inside of there. And this door I got for free from the building here in town Subaru was earlier on before they crashed that building down. I was allowed to go there and take a lot take, take with me a lot of stuff that door is one of the things and that door i think should 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 fit perfect inside of there if i measure the wrong so we're gonna test this also and i just have to say i'm so thankful that i got all this stuff for free i get many doors and windows and a lot of stuff because that saves me for a lot of money and it's cool to use stuff for a second time and not because it's nice stuff it's nice to don't throw it away First piece is here is cutted, now I'm gonna have one, we're gonna with 7.7. .7. And I have a piece here I can use. No, wait. This one is even better. Then I have my strong brother as a uh, lifting help. So we turn it Let's try. So, I'm gonna repeat what I said. I needed a door here. I got this one for free. Look at the measurement. The floor is going up two centimeters. And look at the top. There we have two centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I order it on this measurement. So now we can illustrate how it's gonna be. The stairs gonna be like this ladder. Just is gonna start from here. Then it's going to be the, uh, my gong point, it's going hallway, over here, next to the trophy wall. And this could be the door into the workshop. We're going to remove the borrow sticker and that stuff, of course. And the glass can be clear because it's only vinyl who make it like sand blow it. My brother helped me lift in the glass also today. There we go. I am using a lot of timer now to thinking out how we're going to, um, and all the walls there inside up to that one over there across there and around the door and stuff this is not so easy to figure out later on i'm gonna have a plate here into here to here so i'm gonna glue on this one now this wood piece because this is exactly five centimeters out what i need up there then that's gonna dry till tomorrow Removing vinyl. Now when I'm gonna remove a bigger area with vinyl, I use this uh, dump, this one, because this is super effective to remove a lot of vinyl. Heat up a huge plate at a time. But when you do this, don't go away and do something else while this is heating up, because if it heat up the glass too much, yeah, this is happened. So on, then is it to throw this glass in the trash? And 
Now we're on a new one. Holy shit, this was a bad thing. Now this morning I wanted on this bottom piece. I'm gonna have more of them all the way across here. But then I have to wait with those till I put in the uh, pipe filter pot. I think I told you earlier. And I welded up this one. Here I just used some pieces I had, different one. Don't look too good. Now I'm gonna make one other one like this, just to here. So it's gonna be a support for the door. One good thing about breaking the glass yesterday is that it's much more easy to lift around alone now. This one I put on the wrong place. But that was difficult to know when I put it, put it up. Shit, that was my laser. Yeah, so this one I have to remove because the stairs is coming from there on down and this one is a little bit too much to the right. It's also a little bit too thick now. It's 80.80, 70.70 have been better. Let's go and see if I have. I don't believe I have it, but actually, that piece looks like <laughs> that's 70 70. This corner is done. Now I'm gonna cut off this one. That's <laughs> loose. Yeah, you saw me welding on the new one there. It's now where it should be. And I managed to fit the door now. Those here, adjustables, was on the sides of the door. I removed everyone. I managed to put two in the middle, one on the side. Um, so now I'm gonna try to fit the door. Boys and girls, <laughs> look at this. Oh la la. That's going to be beautiful. So the plate you saw there is the one we're going to be on this wall. I'm going to organize and bend and stuff later this week. But now I'm going to do something else. This is the stainless steel bolt. I'm going to have a support there in the middle to the outside black one there. As you can see, this is not so uh, nice in the bursting. It's not beautiful, so I have to brush it a little bit more to make it smooth and nice. So now I made an uh, overgang from uh, my drill to this one because this is too huge to get straight in the drill. So now I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna brush it. And we're gonna <clears throat> use this. I'm just gonna hold it there now and start the drill. Alright. Alright, and let's see if we can spot the different. This is the old. This is after brushing it. Huh? Huh? This one support here now is welded on. Now we're gonna have a second one from there to that one. And their boat is on. I had a meeting with my father here again today. And we again decided to uh, change the construction a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So now I'm gonna also make a support from that cross, 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 up to that one. The plan earlier was to use this original, or not original, but standard U profile. What all the people is using to put glasses, make glasses wall and stuff in office uh, landscapes. But I'm not going to use that now. I'm going to do my own patent on that one. So I have to make uh, support there. All the black pieces up now then. That's good. You don't see the floor behind the pile of red plates. Time to put primer on the bottom frame. Oh no, let's put it on that up there. Oh. 
for the extra top support I'm gonna have up there. I didn't have one more long piece, this. So I have to put this one welded together here now. So I, I'm getting a piece. Guys, time to end this video, I think. I'm not gonna do too much with this project now, the next couple of days. You are gonna do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to a place to my sponsor to get help bend some plate and to make the, the wall with the pipe flip plates I showed you, the one with all the holes. But after that, I have to order some more material for where the glass gonna stand in and some, uh, the glass have to be ordered and yes, yeah, so it's gonna take time. So till now, thanks for watching this video. The rest of this project will come soon when I get the materials. So thanks for watching and I have a lot of new subscribers lately. Thanks to all of you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.